Hi guys, you're back with Barry, and I want to introduce you to my latest victims. <laughs> <laughs> guys, it's been a pleasure, and no, it's absolutely introduce yeah. yourselves. Let's just keep this real low key. And I'm Michelle. I'm Robert. They're Canadians. Lately, uh, we've been meeting a lot of people from our, our home country, and uh, why I really wanted to film this for, because, uh, you know, we're getting on over 500 YouTubes now, is uh, during our trip, uh, as I was talking with them before even meeting them, I found out they've been to the DR eight times, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. So this is the ninth or this is the eighth? This is the ninth, I think. Ninth, yeah. Yep. And I'm going to pass over to these guys to kind of take over a bit and let them fill you in on their perspectives of... Uh, what we offer at the DR Escapes and Something Feels Wrong team versus what I would call seasoned people that know something about this country. So guys, how, how's our six days been? You, you guys just, where you've been, what you've done in the past, what you find about our region, is it different, is it what we say it isn't? Just have fun with this. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, well, the eight times we've been down, it's mainly been in resort areas, and we have had <clears throat> interaction, <clears throat> excuse me, with locals, and we've gone out on some day trips with, with people that we've met within the resort. So we have seen some of the local life, but not to the extent that we've seen since we've come here. Barry's taken us so many places, and we've uh, really, really got a feel for, for this area of the country, and it's just gorgeous. It's absolutely breathtaking. Uh, there's no to compare than uh, being in this general area. The resort areas uh, just don't cut it. They really don't. This is uh, a small, small town life, and it's wonderful. It really is. Is it is it radically different than most of the other places you've been uh, in terms of? What did you expect when you came here? I know you, uh, Rob's been watching videos, I guess, uh, uh, from us for quite some time now. So, was it kind of like the videos portray? Was it? Was it? Was it different? Was it? You know, not one hundred percent what the videos portrayed. 100%. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's, there was no no uh, wool pulled over our eyes whatsoever. Everything you said was absolutely true. The locals are amazing. They really are. The, the amount of people that you know down here. And we say hi to every day. It's it's phenomenal. I didn't know you knew so many actors. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It costs quite a bit to keep them happy to stage it all for you. But is it something that you're looking to do this for retirement? Maybe relocating. Is it you don't like the direction your nation's heading? You don't like the. What is it that's inspiring you to leave your home country, or at least look at it? There's a few different reasons. Uh, the way the economy is at home, it really is not uh, going in the right direction, I don't think. I think, I think everything down here um, is more open. You can do what you want to do down here. Your money goes further. Um, the people are wonderful, absolutely wonderful. The weather, of course. The weather is, is yeah. phenomenal. Yeah, well, if, you, if you're... Dominican snow, I could live in Dominican snow all year round. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't say anything uh, bad about it, really. What could you say to the kind of naysayers that wonder, like, what, what is, you know, why do we do this and this and that? Have you felt any kind of, kind of um, pressure to do anything or anything uh, in that magnitude or anything? Or was it very relaxed, very low keyed, or? No, it's been wonderful. Yeah, very relaxed. No, no pressure. I mean, you've, you've taken us to so many different areas, and, and most of it had nothing to do with with buying. It was no. just to see no. the, the, the back roads. We'd never have got a chance to go down some of the back roads. We couldn't have done any of that without your truck. My goodness. <laughs> that, the Yoda yeah. was wonderful having that around, you know. And the people were great. Leanne's fabulous. Johnny's <laughs> fabulous. Um, just having you as, to show us around, not just during the day, but going out in the evenings with you guys was fabulous. We really had a great time, not just to show us the area, but with you as well. It's been great, it really has. And we would never experience anything like this on our own, even if we lived here by ourselves for a year. We would never have been able to, to see everything that you guys have been able to show us. Mm -hmm. Do you think we represent it honestly? 100%. Oh, for sure. 100%. Yeah. And no to all the people that, are, that do watch this, 
believe what he says because it's true. Mm -hmm. It's more and more people that we're meeting are looking for, uh, I hate to use the term safe haven, but more of a safe haven. They, they realize what they grew up in is no longer the same country that they live in. If, if I phrased well, it correctly. Yeah, well, I let, totally me, agree with that. let me give you an example. When we went out for dinner the one night, we were down on the Malacan, in a nice little restaurant, and the owner meets you and greets you, and the whole, everything is fabulous. He said, well, I'll, I'll drive you back to, to the hotel. And he said, no, it's fine, we'll, we'll walk. And the power happened to be out that evening. And we're walking back in the pitch black, and no thought of, any problems whatsoever, other than missing our street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, do you find, um, that's a good subject you guys are bringing up. Um, do I sugarcoat anything when you ask me questions about crime? No. Or you ask, do I, do you feel that I, I, I level and point it out directly to, not sure. to what you want to hear, but to what, what I know from experience? Well, no matter where you live, there's going to be some crime of some sort but here I've never felt other anything but safe. I don't understand where a lot of people I meet from, let's say Western cultures, Canada, particularly the United States. It's always, is it safe, is it safe? But yet it's the country of the United States that's having all the mass murders three, four times a mm -hmm. week. The school shootings, shootings. Yeah. the this, the that, the bar shootings, the, uh, I mean, and I, I don't understand, well, where does that culture come in? I don't well, know. even if there is crime here, is more petty crime. A lot more of it, it would be, yeah, but where does that come in? Is it the media that's scaring? I mean, I find, I grew up in an America for partially, I am Canadian, uh, uh, I have dual citizenship now, but, I grew up in an America that seems completely different. I, I find it used to be the average person. First of all, Americans, I don't find, are great world travelers. They tend, but Canadians travel a lot more. Europeans travel a lot more. I don't understand, and mind you, it's almost 35 years since I've really been there. Uh, where did all the fear factor come in? What used to be people that would go out and venture and do are now... I mean, I mean, their children wear more more equipment to ride a bicycle than I played ice hockey. Uh, mm -hmm. Where did this? Because I'm not in that culture. Where did this come from? Is it the media? Is it? I don't know. But uh, people in America or, or Canada, for that matter, don't really walk around neighborhoods anymore. Mm -hmm. They drive around different areas. They wouldn't just uh, get out and walk around. Here, we just walked around town all over the place and. I had no issues whatsoever. People were so friendly. We don't speak Spanish. We know the odd word here and there. But we had no problem getting around and shopping. And mm, they're very helpful, for sure. Yeah, absolutely helpful. I think, too, when you're in Canada, everything that you, you hear back, if you're going to hear something about the Dominican, most of the time it's going to be that, that maybe it was a murder or something. You only would hear the bad news. Mm. I mean, and it's very rare that it's reported back there that there's murders, but that's the only thing you hear, too. So you yeah. tend to think more negatively. I don't understand, though, when it pertains to any foreign country, not even the DR, why it's amplified, but yet there's murder every day back in Toronto. Oh, yeah. You see, and I, I don't get that, why that seems to be living within a comfort zone, even though there's, there's crime all around me, but yet, if it goes to any foreign country, why it's amplified to the degree that it is. I don't know. I don't isn't that a decent point to bring up? Mm -hmm. I mean, there's every yeah, day yeah. there's holdups and there's murder in whatever state, whatever province, and, and yet, but if 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 one happens here or, or one happens uh, here every two years or two every two years, it's amplified to like fifty percent of the population's been killed. <laughs> I, I, I don't understand where that crossroads is getting is getting messed up, and I don't know if it's media or what, but. Um, I want to ask something of you guys because of your eight trips here. Talk to me about the fence post sitters, about people that are afraid to look at other countries. And I'm not specifically saying this country, I never do. I think I'm the only website, Oop, our world just turned upside down. <laughs> um, kind of, I think the only guy that doesn't only boast the country that he's in, that he, that he or she is living in, and I say there's many good countries. But what can you tell the fence post sitters that are afraid, that, that, that want to do something, but fear, fear's got them locked? You've got to try it. 
you got to come down and, and experience it. You have to be cautious. You're, you're going to be careful about where you're walking at night. And, you know, you want to talk to locals and you want to know if there is an area you should stay away from. Or and There isn't but here. But you're selling yourself short if you're just automatically afraid of, of everything. You have, you have to actually give it a try and, and uh, experience the culture because you're, there's... Yeah, our little town, though, to be fair about it, our little town, Codera, doesn't have a patio or, or a slum, no. a bad area. And, and, and most other, most towns do, but, but most towns in Western, most cities in Western cultures, I mean, all the way sure. from, from New York to Miami to Philadelphia, Boston, Montreal, Toronto, I mean, yeah. Halifax, any place you want to name has got good and bad areas. Well, I, but, I even went on the expat websites and asked some of the local people that, I've met through the, the, the expat.com and expat, I forget the name of them, but uh, they actually lived in Cabrera and I said, well, is there any area that I should avoid when I'm down here? And they said, no, there is no bad areas here. Yeah, other than Barry and Leanne. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> well, guys, forget uh, Johnny. <laughs> yeah, Johnny too, yeah. Yeah, hey, and... Uh, we were uh, we were all at the uh, the lawyers today. We had some business, and these guys wanted to meet Dr. Brea, and they got a long trip home, and we're gonna head up to the airport. And I I really do want to thank you for taking ten minutes to get out to some of the viewers and hopefully get some people open minded to I hope they look at try. Really Other places, it doesn't have to be here, but you know, uh, one of my mentors always told me, whatever you ever, ever wanted is just on the other side of your fear. And I, I, I think that even works. Uh, yeah. Now you understand a lot better the way I see things versus the way yeah. most people do. And uh, uh, is there any last minute bits of your travel experience? Because you've traveled to many countries. Yeah. So is there any last bit of wisdom you can share with some of the people that haven't been fortunate enough to do what you've done? One of the things I would say when you watch Barry's videos and uh, read the information, trust your instincts because they're, they're good. <laughs> Excellent. Well, uh, Rob, Michelle, I want to thank you. And thank you. It's been a slice. I don't think it'll be the last time we see you. Though. Oh, no. no. We'll be back <laughs> shortly. That's for sure. Definitely back for the winter. Yeah. Uh, until next time, for drescapes.com and Something Feels Wrong, YouTube channels is very in DR. Talk to you soon.